Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Ankur Chandel and today I'm going to show you how to create S-Base application and load metadata in it. Throughout the process, we are going to follow our S-Base lifecycle in which we are going to start by creating application and then creating database, load metadata through load tool files, loading data, run aggressions, including calculations and business rules. At the end, we are going to see how Maxell and report scripts work. And through that, we are going to export data. So coming back to our today's task, uh, first, we are going to create our application for that. Go to S space, click S space servers, local host, application, click right click on it. Then you will get an option by create application, which is going to give you two more options. Like you want to create the application using the aggregate storage, or you want to create the application by using block storage. So the difference between aggregate storage and block storage is basically the cubes. Block storage is usually called the input cube and the aggregate storage is our reporting cube. So we are going to create our application by the block storage cube. I'm going to name it. Then Fingress. Perfect. So our application has been created. And the next step will be to create a database. As when you will click the plus sign over there, you can see there's nothing in our application. So first we have to create a database. Again, right click on FinResp, your application. Then click on create database. And under database, you can name it anything. Uh, I'm going to name it db underscore fin. Yeah. So here's my database. Click on outlines. So outlines is basically nothing but where you can see all your dimensions, their properties, their members and everything. Um, so it's empty now. I'm going to start by creating account entity version um, employee. period, years, yeah. So I have created six dimensions for my application, which is called FinRust. So now I'm going to verify it. The outline verified successfully, okay. Next step is to save it. Perfect. So now we are going to uh, load metadata in the dimension account, which is through a flag file. So for that, I will go to file, new, click on scripts, rule files. So we have clicked on rule files because we are creating a rule for it. Then after creating the rule, we are going to load the metadata. First, I will open my data file, which is a flag file. So mine is a CSV file. Guys, I've already created a data file. Uh, I will show you how it looks. So it's by the name account underscore two. Yeah. So, this is how my data file looks. So this is basically parent, child, parent, child, 
parent, child, parent, child, and so on. All right. Going back to console. So it was account underscore two CSV file from my local drive. Okay. Upload successful. The next thing which I'm going to do is go to data source properties. Going to select the delimiter which I have used. I have used a comma delimiter. You have to select whatever the delimiter you have used. Click on OK. Perfect. So this is how my Excel CSV file was looking. And this is how, so it has been imported perfectly, right? Next step is to go to field properties. We are going to field properties to tell the system what is what. So go to dimension build properties, select previous, yeah, so P1, it's account, generation, so it will be the second generation because the first generation will be the header account. Next, count generation two. Guys, I'm using generation method over here. You can use level or parent child, whatever you like. Count. Generation three, four, three, four. five and six all right guys click okay yes now we are going to see that the building properties are right or not yeah, the rule file is correct for the dimension building. All right, click on save. I'm going to save it on the SBase server. Likewise, you can save it on file system too, but I want to save it on server. So I'm going to name it load, load rule uh, account. Okay. Perfect. Now click on database as we have already created the rule. The final step is to load the metadata. It's when you're going to right click on your database, you're going to get an option, load data. Click on that, built only. So mine, was the CSV file guys, right? And it was in my local drive by the name account underscore two. Now I'm going to select the rule file. Yeah, so that is a rule file which I've created a couple of minutes back. All right, okay. Perfect. Now when you will click the outlines, close it once, open it again, then you will see the account over here, which metadata has been loaded by you. All right, so these were the accounts, parent, child, parent, child, 
parent, child. Okay. So this is how you're going to lo load if, if you have to load something in bulk. But what if you have to load like tears, something which is like very minute for say, I have to load like three years, uh, starting from 2018 to 2019. So I'm going to just add a child under that, 2018, 2019, sorry, three years will be 2020. Perfect. So this is another way which you can do. We can try that again. So next, what we can load, we can load the name of the employees of your organization. For that, you have to click on file, new, script, rule file, okay. Then again, file, open data file, select the data file. Mine is a CSV file employees underscore to CSV. Load it, right. Data source properties, comma delimiter. Okay. Yeah. So these are basically the employee codes and these are the name of the employees. Yeah. So now, I will go to the field properties, dimensional build properties, and tell the system that this is my generation two. And these are my alias. Okay. Yep, generation two employees, and these are the alias of employees. Validate, yep, or good, save. Load employee. Again, I've saved the rule file on my server. After that, I will right click on my database, go to load rule, load rule, build only, cause we are just uploading the metadata. Data source will be my CSV file from my system. Employ underscore two, rule file, load rule underscore employ, Okay. Dot. Go to outlines again. Oh, 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 oh. save it. Mm -hmm. Open outlines again and see the employees have been came up. So we have loaded our employees by the employee IDs and their names are the aliens. Yeah. So that's how, how we are supposed to create an application and load metadata of different dimensions on SBase. Thank you.